The 10th Sinai inauguration is just the start for a new era full of glory by the name of Al Ahli, who's nowadays working hard for a new competitive season. It's Yom Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Al Khatib, it's a historic ceremony. Saad Samir joins future FC on loan. Al Ahli bid farewell to Mohsen. A goalless draw against Petrojet. Al Ahli defeat the Muqawloon al Arab. Mahmoud Al Khatib, Al Ahli president, gave an emotional speech in the 10th Sa celebration, which was held in the Tich Stadium, saying, that we are here at Al Tich Stadium, this great stadium that was named after one of the pioneers of the club, Mukhtar Al Tich. I want to thank his family for being here with us tonight. It's a historic day. I cannot find the words to thank God for all what we have achieved. I would like to thank all the players that contributed to achieving the 10th star. This generation of players prove that they have a strong character and a special spirit. Despite all the difficult circumstances, they stepped up to the mission and achieved many titles. Also, I would like to thank the team's coaching staff, administrative staff and everyone working with the team. We are united behind one goal, which is raising the club's flag. Al Ahli's defender Saad Samir joins future FC on a two-season loan. Amir Tawfiq, the club's director of marketing and transfers, completes the deal with the future representatives. Saeed Abdel Hafiz, the team's director of football, announced the departure of Marwan Mohsen from Al Ahli. Abdel Hafiz held a meeting with the player on Wednesday, during which he thanked him for his time at the club. Finally, Abdel Hafiz also stressed to Mohsen that the club appreciate his commitment and dedication towards Al Ahli, and therefore he'll be allowed to join any club on a free transfer. Our friendly match against Petrojet, which was held on Monday afternoon at the stadium, ended in a goalless draw. Our coach Pitsumi Simani used the game to give playing time to players who returned from long injuries and many of the club's youngsters, as well as Hamdi and Ahmed Abdel Qadir, who returned to the club after spending the last season on loan. Al Ahli's football first team defeated Al Muqawloon Al Arab 1 0 in the friendly match, which was held on Thursday at Al Tit Stadium. Hussein Al Shahad, Al Ahli's attacking winger, scored the winning goal in the final minutes of the first half. The Red Eagles are currently preparing to face Salah Al Agish in the 29 2020 Egyptian Super Cup match, which will be held on the 25th of September at Burg Al Arab Stadium. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.